Today we want to talk about Veeam's backup for Office 365 version 4. I want to specifically focus on repositories as well as object store repositories. Now, by default, when the product is installed, we get this default repository. I have renamed it, so it says local default repo. Uh, it's about 70 gigs in capacity, and it's just a local drive that's on the VM when I built it. Now, I can also right mouse click on the desktop here, or if I choose to, I could click add a repository and build an additional one. If I just throw test out here and do next, it will allow me to go in and browse and I can put together another location here. Pick it up, no, no problem at all. What I wanna to do today though, is I'm gonna show you how to build a backup repository that will allow you to then offload into object storage. So let's take a peek real quick at the object storage that I have. I've already created something for Azure Blob, for Cloudian, and for IBM Cloud. Now in this demonstration today, we're going to focus around Cloudian because Cloudian, although it is S3 compatible storage and object based, it is not in the cloud. It's on prem. So the cool part about that is, is that if I want to keep my information or my own personal lock and key, which some of our customers do, this is the tool to be able to do that. They can create those repositories on a place where it's locked under their personal control, not off in a actual cloud somewhere. And again, to each his own, this is just one of the ways that things can be done, but Cloudian does it really well. So let's walk through that. We'll go back up to our repositories and we'll right mouse click here and do add backup repository. And we're going to call this offload to S3 Cloudian. And I like to put the date. It's going to drop it in there, but I put it the way I put it. Okay, and then we'll do next. Now, I'm gonna have my backup proxy. We're gonna use the default one. As you know, we can add multiples there. Uh, if you've seen any of my other videos or watched any of my demos, you know that I talk about the proxy being kind of the mule. It moves our data around and does all the heavy lifting for us. So we'll take this default location, and then let's put a local repository on it. And we'll just choose the E drive. I'm gonna do next. And from here, now I can tick this button to offload backup data to object storage. Now, if we pull down here, you can see there's my blob, my IBM Cloud, and here's my Cloudian. Cloudian is obviously what we want to use this time. Then we're going to click Next. As you saw back in this option, we could indeed password encrypt this upload it to object storage. No issue. Create passwords inside of here and create as many different accounts for those passwords as we choose to. So we'll do Next. Now here's our retention level. And I'm going to be very specific as I read this to you. Individual items will be deleted from the backup once their creation or last modification date exceeds the date of retention period. Uh, in other words, similar to how classic document archives work, uh, it's useful if you need to ensure that those items are not stored longer than required. This is normally how we're going to do it. But you do have the ability to do snapshot-based retentions. We are going to look at our pull down here for retention policies, and I can pick however long I choose to, one year through 25, specify the number of days that are here, or I can keep it forever. Okay, I'm going to specify the number of days only because I'm going to do this in my lab and I want it to be 25 days of retaining these. Okay, if I go into advanced here, it gives me apply that retention policy daily, monthly, however I choose to apply this particular retention policy. I'm just going to cancel it because we're going to take the default. And now I'm going to click finish. It's building and creating that repository. Now I have a place where I dump my backups to. It's going to take them and create a store inside of that repository. And then the data is going to be pushed and offloaded into object storage, which in this particular case is Cloudian. But remember, this is staying on-prem for us. We'll do this again. Let's right mouse click and add a backup repository. And we're going to do this as offload to Azure Blob. Change our date here. Next. 
same proxy that we used before. Let's throw this into another drive here. Tell it OK. Next. Now we're going to click our offload button again, and this time you see we only have two choices because clouding has already been used. So now we're going to pick Azure Blob, and we're going to tell it Next. Verifies my credentials, and this particular one I'm also going to set for 30 days. Finish verifying credentials, creates my storage. Now I have an offload to Azure Blob as well. Very simple to do. Now when I go back over to my organization and I pick my organization, I can now click on backups for a new backup job. And I'm going to do a system backup to Cloudian. Click Next. Let me pick my individual things that are here. I could do the entire org or pick individual objects, which I'm going to pick individuals, and I'm going to do users. I'm just going to take a second to look at my Office 365 accounts that are out there, and it's going to pull in the data, and I can pick and choose the users that I would like to use. Okay, let's pick a couple of users down here. Here's, let's take Nestor and Patty. And we're going to do add. And I don't want to do any kind of uh, exceptions or anything, so I'll do next. Next again. Backup repository that I want to dump this to. My offload to Cloudian. Okay. Then I'm going to do next again. And now I can run this backup. I'm scheduling it automatically. Number of retries. Start the job when I click on this. And I do want to start it when I click on it. And then create the job. Bingo. That's it. And now it's running. And our backup's running. That's just how easy it is for us to go in and create storage that will offload into object environment. I hope you've enjoyed watching this demonstration, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, and take care.